Good morning. I am up and it is time to work out. No sit fish shake this morning. I have been finishing up my last of these Zevia energy drinks. To be honest, I don't think I'm gonna buy any more. I mean, they're okay, but I might have to go back to Zip Fizz or maybe another electrolyte drink. Don't get me wrong, as much as I love the energy and the caffeine, the taste of this is not worth the lack of electrolytes. Where I could be drinking a drink like Zip Fizz that has caffeine and electrolytes, right? I know, it also has sucralose. I'm going back and forth. All I'll say is, I bought some more Zip Fizz last week. I did not buy any more of these. But don't get me wrong, this is the mango ginger. It doesn't taste bad at all. But I mean, it's just not Zip Fizz. Plus, I don't get to shake. Like, what's the fun if you can't shake it, right? But I mean, don't get me wrong, this is good. For my workout today, we are smack dab in the middle of the hashtag June Prune Fine Tune Challenge. You can thank Richard for that name. It is just a challenge where we are doing a thousand reps total of three different exercises all throughout the month of June. So what that means is that you pick three exercises. For me, that is push-ups, sit-ups, and squats. And then you do a thousand reps total throughout the month. That means you have 30 days to do a thousand reps. So that comes out to approximately 33 reps a day if you are going to spread it evenly. For me, I'm doing 40 reps a day to try to build up some sort of buffer. So that generally takes me about 15 minutes. So I'm gonna do that and then I am going to hop on my bike. But I'm doing something special today. I've been doing this a couple times. It's called Less Mills. It's on the TV, Less Mills The Trip. So it's like an immersive bike riding experience. I can't wait to show you guys. So I'm gonna bring my bike down here, put it as close to the TV as is safely possible. And then I'm going to ride my bike. So I'm gonna hop into my 40 reps of each of my three exercises. And then I'm gonna hop on my bike. Leg up. Okay, we're gonna come up here. Boom, turn off the lights, hashtag mood music, what? Okay, this is my Roku down here. I'm gonna go to Les Mills On Demand. This is one of my favorite apps ever. I do like it more than the Beachbody app, but I haven't had the Beachbody app in a while. So comment down below, hashtag team Beachbody, hashtag team Les Mills. So you see they have bar workouts, they have body attack, which is sports conditioning, body pump, which is weightlifting, body combat, which is kickboxing. Like I just love all these different programs. Today I'm going to the trip, immersive indoor cycling. And that's precisely what it is. So look, they have these little like, you know, that's like a cityscape and you're riding through some sort of electric tunnel. Ooh, that one looks scary. Why would I want to ride through a dark, Forest, no thank you. Look, that's a volcano right there. Uh-uh. Okay, let me see where I wanna go. Mm, this one looks nice. It's like a wet street, and those are some mountains in the background, so let's do that one. Ooh, it's the forest. Oh, look at it. Okay, you guys. Bye. I gotta go. Okay, I am done. That is just one of my favorite things ever. Look at that sweat. Yes, girl. Like, there is just nothing like those landscapes to look at, plus the music, plus him telling you to stay on the beat. Like, it's so awesome. Like, I don't have a real spin bike yet, so I, whenever they talk about standing, since I can't stand up on that, like, I just pull my arms or do something challenging so that when he says sit, then I can just go back to, like, I can have some difference in my workout. But, like, getting a spin bike is the goal so that I could stand and, and sit whenever they talk about it, but 
that's just amazing. It's such a fun, awesome workout. Like, it really speaks to me. Okay, guys, it is time for my first meal. You notice this, it's a little later. So one thing that I've been working on doing this month that's really kind of been helping me, like this is my version of intuitive eating, right? So I've always said, I don't think I'll ever be able to get to the point, or I don't know if I want to get to the point where I no longer weigh and measure and track how much I eat. Like, I just like doing that, right? But what I can do in terms of intuitively eating is control when I eat. So a lot of the times I just wake up and, and I go through my day on my eating days and I eat out of habit. Like, oh, it's 9.30, time to eat. Oh, it's 10 o'clock, it's after the YouTube live, time to eat. Where now I've been stopping to ask myself before I eat for the day, before I start eating, it's like, hmm, am I hungry? I look at my stomach and I ask, are you hungry, right? And generally the answer is no because the reason I have to prompt myself to ask, are you hungry, is because I thought, you know what, I should eat, <laughs> you know? So my first thought is, you know what, I should eat. And then my next thought is, are you hungry? And the answer is no. Because you know what, when I really am hungry, my body tells me, like my stomach growls and it catches me off guard and I'm just like, oh, oh, I guess I'm hungry, right? So just that stopping and asking myself, are you hungry? It's really helping me get out of the habit of eating out of routine, eating because of a certain time, and really listening to my body. So even though throughout the day I still weigh and measure and track and know how much I'm eating, I am from an intuitive standpoint controlling when I eat, right? So it's time for me to eat because my stomach had done growled, right? And so these, I'm still on my beef jerky kick. Like I have so been enjoying making my own beef jerky with bottom round. If you would like a beef jerky recipe, mm, mm, comment down below. I'm personally still working on it, but what I have right now is pretty great. So meaty, so chewy. This is a lot spicier than it was last time. Oh, oh, that's a win. I'm also having my cheese snacks. I was just talking about this on my YouTube live. Don't forget, I go live every Sunday, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday mornings at 9.30 a.m. Eastern. So subscribe to the channel, watch Autumn Keto, and ding that notification bell so that you get notified whenever I go live. I was just talking on there today about how I really need to get rid of all my cheese snacks. You guys, I've gotten rid of moon cheese. Who would have ever thunk? So now I need to get rid of my cello wisps and I need to substitute them with like another whole food. Like I'm thinking eggs, because I'm just relying too much on dairy and I want to substitute it. Look at all these meat fries. Okay, so I'm having my cheese, I'm having my meats. I still got my lemon water, so that pitcher of water with the lemon core. So see, I refilled it, so now I'll know exactly how much water I need to drink today. Mmm, lemony and delicious. Mm. So I'm gonna start my day off with this, get to work, and then it'll be lunchtime. Okay guys, simple meal this week. Burger and brats. Didn't quite have it in my macros to get two burgers, but still. This is gonna be delicious. This cheese is actually like habanero cheddar. It's that Cabot kind and it is delicious. Like I was actually eating it and I was like, this would make an amazing pimento cheese. Could you imagine like half cheddar, half habanero cheddar? Like what? Okay. So that's why you notice I don't have any hot sauce on the burger this week because it does not need it because the cheese is hot enough. Okay. Meaty, tangy from the mustard, nice spice from the cheese. The brats this week are from Aldi. They're not my regular Johnsonville beer brats, but they taste good. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Especially when my husband gets them all burnt and crispy. Like I like. Absolutely. So I'm gonna have this still drinking my water. Still feeling good. I'll let you know what's next. Okay guys, it is skillet pizza time. The plates are so hot. They're always so hot. Okay, I'm just going to rest this here. So this is just two ounces of pepperonis with two ounces of that Cabot uh, habanero cheddar cheese. Mm, look at that. Mm, crispy, hot, salty, chewy, gooey. Ooh, bars, absolutely delicious. I'm gonna have this, then I'll be closing out the day with a keto chow, I'm very excited. A keto chow surprise because they're all the same color and I don't know which flavor is which, so 
we're gonna discover that together. Okay, so for my final meal, quote unquote, or dessert, this is really what I'm treating Keto Chow as, is dessert. Uh, don't forget, you can get 10% off your Keto Chow purchase by clicking the link in the description box below. But I am finishing, oh gosh, the day off with this. I don't know what flavor this is. This is either like chocolate with coffee or chocolate peanut butter. Both are my absolute jams, so let's see. Mm. Mm. Oh, it's the chocolate with coffee. So I made chocolate keto chow, but instead of using water, I used coffee instead. And this is absolutely delicious. It's so thick because I put gelatin in it. I make it with butter and heavy whipping cream. Mm. Mm. I'm gonna have this and then I will get to work. So I'm finishing the day with this. Still more water. I'm gonna get that, that entire jug done and then we'll go from there. Mm. Mm. So thick, so creamy. Mm. Oh, so good. Okay, guys, surefire way to get rid of the hiccups. Take 10 small sips of water right back to back. Gone every time. I don't think it's the water so much as like the swallowing like over and over and over but water definitely helps that otherwise you're just choking down air right okay i'm finishing the day up with azevia this is lemon lime twist one of my favorites i would have to say that orange is my number one favorite and then lemon lime twist and then i also did get the mountain zevia version so like the mountain dew version that's also pretty good it's just i really enjoy the tart flavors of zevia Okay, I'm gonna have this. I'm gonna have my water, and that's finna be it. My husband is cooking up my favorite thing ever, which is just sauteed onions. These are my favorite dish. This is why I decided to marry him right here. You know the only reason I married you is because of your onions. I am indecent. Oh my gosh. No. You yeah, are indecent. My indecences. No, that's those aren't things. That's, that's not, not a thing. Indecences? It's what's inside. No. Mm -mm. Sweetie, this is my favorite thing ever. Oh my god. It is. Do you know it's not my favorite thing ever? What's up? Yeah. Uh, what is that? What kind of meat is this? Ribeye. Yucky. Just salt and pepper. Just salt and pepper? That's all that's necessary. Mm, that's, that's all that's necessary. Oh, a little olive oil. You mm. now you added ingredients, mm. Lord. Yuck. Yum. Oh, that goes with it. These are, Yuck. These are the accoutrements. Yum. Oh, I'll do it again. Oh, I missed it. Oh, do the, do the little flippity floppity. Do the flippity flop. Oh, that is some skill. Oh, that's some skill right there. My husband's got skills with a Z. What? A what? Does the camera people see how goofy you are right now? Mm -mm. Did you see what he I got to deal with? wants to call me goofy because I'm just simply telling the truth. My husband's got skills. Do you see what I got to deal with? Okay, guys. It's time to go to sleep. Literally just drunk a ton of water after the Zevia. Super boring day to day. I'm proud of myself. I am focusing on trying to cut back dairy even more, so that's something to be on the lookout for over the next couple of weeks. Overall, today was great. I absolutely loved that bike workout this morning. If you want that little exercise bike I got, look, I bought that bike last year to do 75 hard, and it was the best purchase I made all year. It's a great little exercise bike. Click the link in the description below. I actually have the bike linked. Look, it's on Amazon. It was super inexpensive well worth it by far my favorite piece of exercise equipment i've ever got okay but that's it i'm going to go to sleep wake up and do it all again tomorrow thanks so much for watching if you like this video don't forget to give it a thumbs up subscribe to my channel watch autumn keto i make weekly full days of eating and a bunch of other random stuff as well have a good day and i will see you next week bye Okay, be quiet. That's my wife. Shut up! Oh no, I have the hiccups. I got the hiccups. Holler if you hear me. Ugh. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. <laughs>
tell me to record and shit. Mm-mm. Mm. Mm. You are too close. Too close.